New Work Connection started its life really due to a need highlighted within social services. We didn't have any service for social care users to support them to take the next step into employment. That's in its infancy, that's where New Work Connection started and it has now grown to a children and family services element, learning disability services element and a mental health element. Full-time carer but I wanted to broaden my work aspects so that I can go on to further work from caring. But I felt I didn't have the skills to go where I wanted to go. I'm a single mum. Um, I've got a seven-year-old little girl left at home with me. I've got two older kids, but they've, they've flown the nest. Um, so basically, yeah, it's just me and my daughter at home now. So I wanted a wage and I wanted a decent job. They helped me do my CV and um, helped with like transport to get places and I've now got a job and I've enrolled on a course in college. It's brought on my confidence. Um, I've done a course in customer services which I found extremely useful as it talked about not only in a face-to-face -face environment but also over the phone. I've never looked back and I now volunteer there. I've done lots, lots of different things, but it's helped build me up and it helps pull you out of depression when you suffer severely with depression too. I run a 13 bedded care home in West Shore, London now. Actually, managing to get a suitable employee in this day and age is a good thing, you know. And rather than go through the process of maybe the job centre and trying to find people, if somebody's already been through this work connection scheme and, you know, their suitability has been sought, then it's easier for me then as an employer to find somebody who really wants to do that sort of work. Up to now we've worked with one, approximately 1,700 people um, and we've got a huge waiting list so we've got lots more coming in. So it's really big. I think we've been really successful, but I think you need to bear in mind that it's a very, very long journey. For people to be ready to, to enter the labour market, we need to help with confidence, really, really basic confidence, and that's not an overnight thing. Um, many people face difficulties in terms of their basic skills, so need help in that respect. Some people are homeless, and so there's absolutely no point looking at um, employability when they actually are not safely housed. So. We will look at a, a holistic picture, a holistic picture, and help people in all aspects of their lives. I'm so much more confident now as well, and I'm on a, a course as well for like confidence. So, I've, and I'm, I'm much more happier now that I've got a job. Well, to my oyster, nothing's stopping me. I can go for these, apply for these jobs that I didn't think I could even fill in the application form for, let alone go forward for an interview for, through the lack of confidence. And I found that I actually did have the skills there. It's just having the people to bring the skills out and mean freshening up the skills.